Hey guys, the since I saw our messages. This is going to be, I'm sorry I'm laughing. I just finished Virgo's read and towards the end of Virgo's read, we in the middle of a thunderstorm. <laughs> And it was like literally the crack of lightning and thunder was like right outside. It scared that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Breathe. All right. This is going to be Twin Flame Read for the Collective Sign of Scorpio for January 26th to January 31st. Oh my gosh. My heart's still pounding. Okay. Let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. I just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity for any messages that need to come through for the collective sign of Scorpio for January 26th to the 31st or whenever they're led to this message. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow. Oh, one more shuffle. <laughs> oh. Okay, the way I do the reads, I've added the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck to it. So it's one card off the top, one card off the bottom, one card for person one, card off the bottom for person two. Oh, the joys of teenagers. Okay, one card off the top for person one, one card off the bottom for person two. Person one is Gates of Triumph. Success expands in your life. Person one, person two... Oh, wow. Rejuvenating rain. Clear the past. Heal the present. Well, isn't that a quinky dink? That's what it's doing outside right now. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. What is going on with Scorpio? And here comes the deluge falling. All right, the way the twin flame reads go. Back in the present moment here. Eight cards off the top, eight cards off the bottom. There's no gender in tarot. So the way I differentiate between the sides is person one and person two. Um, the reads this time have been staggered steps. That means first card is person one, second card is person two. Basically, with a fluid storyline or a linear storyline. So, anyway, one more shuffle. Okay, one more shuffle. Whew. Man. So, eight cards Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Two of Swords, the Moon, Wheel of Fortune, Five of Swords, Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Magician, Empress, King of Swords, Knight of Swords and Four of Cups. All right. Scorpio. Now, I have to say this. With the beginning of each of the different signs, like Aquarius was the beginning of the air signs, Aries was the beginning of fire signs, Taurus was the beginning of the earth signs, each of the beginning of the signs kind of sets the tone for the other three. If this sets the tone for the other three... Wow. I mean, there's balance here of each of because let me explain wands, swords, cups, pentacles. Okay. When you face anything in your life, you think about it, have to act on it. That's swords. You talk about it. That's wands. You may feel a certain way about it, that's cups, and you have to figure out what you're getting out of it or the resources to go into it, that's pentacles. Now, when you have the balance of all four, 
And then you're using all of your senses, all of, all of you, to really navigate the connection. There's still very few wands here. So let's go through this. Um, person one, six pentacles. I'm still remembering Virgo's read. I'm so sorry, Virgo. <laughs> Six of Pentacles. This is community card. And I'm starting to see this card differently from the Virgo read. And I'm starting to see this as like a social media, social networking card. So person one is this person. In this energy of very social, um, networking, social media. Well, person two... Seven of Wands, that is that confrontational argument. Crows standing at the top of the cliff, pushing all the other crows over. So, I'm going to give a little rundown to this. Person one on that social, social networking on social media... They posted something the person two didn't like, and that's what started the argument. This could be... That the two of them are together. Could be anything. But it started an argument from person two. Then you have person one in wish fulfillment. That's not of cups. I feel like person one does this to get person two's attention. And then you have person two, Queen of Pentacles, holding the purse strings, having all of the resources, having knowing how to take care of others. That's that divine feminine um, energy of who to take care of, who not to take care of. That's what it is. Um, who needs to know our business and who don't need to know our business. That's what that is. Then there's... Goes to this. Person one, five of swords, energy. That is fighting to win. Doing whatever it takes to get that victory. Person two. Ten of swords. That is backstabbing and betrayal. This is... This is centered around, is this centered around social media? Because this is almost like person one taking an action that person two didn't like. And all it ended up doing wasn't getting a rise out of them, but it just hurt person two more. Almost, okay. Almost like posting pictures of the two of you together. Something like that. The person one did that on purpose. Not even to hurt person two, but it's been going on so long that this is what it caused. Like it was the last sword in the back. Then you got person one feeling left out in the cold because they didn't get a rise out of person two. That's because you hurt them. That's the reason you get a rise out of them. You hurt them. They're not going to fight for this connection if that's what they're getting. Because this is person one's energy being left out in the cold because they didn't get a rise out of them. Person two, magician manifesting. Okay, this is the thing when it comes to manifesting. They manifested this. Person two did. They manifested a connection. This connection... To where person one would do this to them. Like their partner would act this way. Okay, we manifest when we don't understand what it is to manifest, we can actually do that and not realize that we're doing it. And it's almost like you have a spiritual gift that you don't have control over. I have said this about mine. 
that nobody can really tap into my spiritual gift and think they were going to steal it. Because it's the difference between driving standard, driving a stick. Like, I mean, there's... And each person's spiritual gift, you have to learn to navigate it. Like, I've known about mine the majority of my life. I just didn't know what it was. 47 years old, I'm still learning to navigate it. So, when you don't know how to navigate it, you will actually manifest those things that you think about. So, it's almost like person two... Manifested this. Like they wanted a, this type of connection. But I don't think they. When, when they manifested it. They didn't know what they were asking for. Twin flame connection is about bringing up. Lessons that needs to be. Learned. Places of healing in both of you. Then you go to person one, Ace of Wands, wanting to talk about it. New conversation. Let's let's talk about this. Person two at a crossroads. Yeah. They pulled it out of spiritual thin air. Now they're not knowing what to do with it. Person one, the moon. Illusion. This is... The sun is bright enough to illuminate everything. The moon still leaves things in shadow. This is being divinely connected. The psychic energy. But at the same time, it is about enjoying that there's shadow around it and mystery around it. So... Person one is in this illusion. And I don't even think what they posted. Because I feel like that's what this started out as. This conflict. Because this is what this is. Straw that broke the camel's back. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. Because. Yeah. Yeah. This illusion that person one is like. Person two did not like that. It's a storyline that they had created in their head or. No it's not that. It is that. Wow. And person two. Is on that wheel. So rather than make the decision at the crossroads. They're spinning that wheel. And just kind of going, okay, where do I go? Allowing fate to guide them. This is, I like, I like looking at the Wheel of Fortune this way. It's a 10, it's completion of a cycle. But that's, the way I look at the Wheel of Fortune card is, this completes my control over my life. God, take control, and you drive. I need a nap. That's how I see this card. So, <coughs> excuse me. Rather than make the decision themselves, they're, that's the decision they made. They're basically like, you take control, I don't know what to do. And then person one is in the Empress energy. And that's what I got from the Emperor card from Virgo. Was that the Empress energy? Okay. Empress is the embodiment of all four queens. And this is mother of the tarot, perpetual mother, creative, creative, creative. That makes sense. Mother, creative. Okay, there's no gender in tarot. Each of us are supposed to find the balance within ourselves, divine masculine, divine feminine. That's not what I'm referring to, though. They're in this illusion. Okay. Okay. Some of the, and I think that's what it is. With the Twin Flame Reads this time, they're staggered. And the reason is because, like, we're so connected to one another now. 
But there are some connections that aren't meant to start yet. Like there's still a separation phase and I feel like this is one of them. I really do. I feel like this is one of them. Like it's not meant to start yet. Person one, there's a lot of changes going on in their life. They know who the twin... Okay, you can know who your twin flame is. It doesn't mean that they might be receptive to hearing it at that moment. Got to give them a minute. So this is that creative energy from person one. Almost like they're... I can even... I was just told, I was told a line from an old song and I was told, and yes, you can use the line from that song. Making love out of nothing at all. The connection is there, it just hasn't gotten to that point yet. It's like in the early stages. And I think a lot of, I think what I'm seeing is quite a few people are jumping ahead, jumping the gun. I think that's what this is too. Jump on the gun. Because person one is creating this. Almost like creating a storyline. This could be back to that obsessiveness that comes from this connection. That can come from the connection. Because that's also one of the lessons is to learn patience. To go with the flow. To allow in divine timing. That type of thing. Person two, king of swords. This is setting up healthy boundaries and putting a guard at the gate. They're walking away. This is going to end up being a runner chaser. This is. Person one, knight of swords. Taking the divine action toward to prevent this runner chaser thing. So they're running after them. So, yeah. Person two is walking away. Person one is running after them. Person two. Four of cups. That's discontented. Not happy with the way this went. Because I... Jumping the gun. Jumping the gun. Making love out of nothing at all. Like, it has another meaning, that song does. But this is... It's like... The person one was taking this scenario... And running with it. Like, they come up with all kinds of scenarios in their head. That's the obsessive energy. Okay. Gates of triumph, success expands in your life. Okay. Um, person one, what this is referring to is, you are correct. This is a twin flame connection, but you have to allow both sides to connect here. Like, person one was doing all of that for attention because it was in a separation phase. And it was almost like they were trying to force a separation phase to stop. They were jumping the gun. Rejuvenating rain. Clear the past, heal the present. Yeah. Like I said, not enough wands. Not enough talkie. Person one, eight of cups. Person two, page of wands. Here, there's a wand now. Person one, five of wands. Person two, Queen of Cups. Person one, Ace of Pentacles. Person two, Nine of Pentacles. Person one, Hermit. Person two, Tower. Yeah. Person one, Seven of Cups. Person two, Three of Pentacles. Person one, Page of Swords. Person two, Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Person one, following their heart, eight of cups. Person two, page of wands. Let's talk about it first. (sighs) 
that's what this is. Yeah. And see, person two is walking away from person one because person one triggered them. That's what twin flame connection is. That's the reason the magician showed up. Because it was to remind them that this is what you manifested. You asked for twin flame connection. Then when you get twin flame connection, you're now concerned about the triggers that have happened. That's the point of it. Person one, five of wands. Fighting to win. Cost, use your words to do it. Another five. Person one, there's a lot of change coming. Like, person one is changing. Now that at least there's words. Person two, queen of cups. Now person, okay, person two loves person one. Both of them love each other. They do. Okay. This triggering thing that happens, that's supposed to happen. It does happen. This is just a separation phase. Person one, Ace of Pentacles, beginning of new. I think this is where the reconnection came in. No. Because this was connected. Walking away. Yeah, walking away. Runner Chaser starting. Reconnecting there. Ace of Pentacles. Start a new venture. This could even be a new way of um, approaching a situation. Nine of Pentacles. Person two. Job well done. Then you go to the Hermit for person one. This is reflecting, self-analysis, looking at in the mirror, really facing your own shadows, healing. Person two, tower. Does this look like, I know what this tower is, preconceived notion about twin flame, connection. This is what this is. And it's almost like it's the past of the connection. Like it, the whole tower blew up. If you see that picture. And the reason for that is. <clears throat> person one, Ace of Pentacles. They wanted a new start to that connection. Person two, job well done. Because they backed out of the connection. And really approaching it from a different way. But it sent person one into hermit mode. Okay, that means runner chaser has flipped course here. And that's what's happened. With the hermit and the tower. Person one and person two have flipped roles. Person two is, or person one is now like, I need a minute. And... The tower has blown in person two's face because they're not there. Whether or not person two wants to admit it, they like this attention. But they like the fact that it was comfortable attention to them. That's the reason they manifested it. Because whenever they would walk away, they knew they could come back and person one was waiting. So it was a comfort in knowing that to them. Okay. Or some wine, seven of cups, choices and options. Now there's choices and options. Person two, three of pentacles, wanting to work together, cooperation to work on this. Three is number of divinity, father, son, holy ghost, God, man, the angels. So person one, you're getting that success. But you are now in the walking away phase. Then we have person one, page of swords. This is new action. This is that messenger. Very immature action. Not even immature, just small action.
but even learning about how to act. Like, what do I do? What do I, so how do I proceed? That's what this is. How do I proceed? While well, person two is, and I like this, eight of pentacles, eight of pentacles, working on themselves. So, this is growth on both sides, but it had to come to a head, and that's what I ended up doing. So instead of repeating the same cycle, both now have taken it from a different perspective. So that's good. I want to pull a couple shamanic healing oracle cards. got to pull these cards for Virgo's read. Oh, that lightning. Thunder. Okay. Anyway. Person one, omens. 31. Three and one's four. Um, this doesn't mean death omens. What this means is look for the signs of twin flame connection. You'll see repeating numbers. Birds. You'll, re you'll see... You'll even get dreams, little messages here and there, a song that'll remind you. I feel like it's going to be a song. A song and probably like their, no, the brand of car maybe? Or brand of car that they like. That's what it is. Brand of car that they like. But I feel like it's mostly a song. There's going to be a song. Okay, person two. Psychic development. Okay, that's where... When it comes to this runner chaser thing and this triggering moments and one person not being on the same page with the other one, like they're denying the connection, all kinds of stuff. That's where the telepathic connection comes into play. It does. And the psychic development, number five card, number of change. So person one is going through this change. Person two is facing that change now. Okay, person one, unlimited possibilities, 19. I love this card. Look at that tree in the background, it's an oak tree. 19, nine and 10, nine and one is 10. That's completion of a cycle. Person two, I've rarely seen this card. 29 card changes, two and nine is 11. That's an angelic number. Yeah, both sides know. Both sides know they're supposed to be together, that this is twin flame connection. But I have to tell you, both sides are driving was driving each other crazy. Like going back and forth. Like triggering in one another. And now in the runner chaser phase one way, now it's flipped and going the other way. And there's really I like seeing the fact that both sides are doing work, though. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay. So, this is Twin Flame Read for the Collective Sign of Scorpio for January 26th to the 31st, or whenever you're led to this message. Love and light. 